Hey everybody, Final Thoughts time for Mechanica, and you know what I think this game has done for me? It has firmly cemented in my head the idea that I love conveyor belts. I would not have thought that, but it turns out, over the last half a decade, there's been this slow, steady dribble of engine building style games that are all about building, designing, and maintaining conveyor belts, and I love them! I mean, I, I'm sure I haven't even played all of them, but gosh, uh... A million years ago, it feels like, Pay Dirt came out. And that was a very, very cool game of a conveyor belt where you're an uh, Alaskan mining company and the conveyor belt shows the dirt. You know, the, the what you've dug up is, you know, you find gold and all that. And then, a few years later, there was Automania, which was a phenomenal little uh, car manufacturing thing where, again, you could manipulate the uh, conveyor belt and create junctions so stuff would go in different directions. And then, more recently, there was Chocolate Factory, which is probably the heaviest of all of them because there's so much complex stuff you could do as you, on a conveyor belt, convert cocoa beans into delicious, lovely wrapped chocolates to fulfill orders. But um, now, the gen I've played Mechanica, I think this one might be our favorite yet. Uh, because, well, it does a lot of stuff that the other ones have done, and it adds a very new, interesting twist, which is the fact that our multiple conveyor belts work on different speeds. They don't... I mean, often you'll find these games just like, oh, every round, everything just moves forward one, and then you move on, the, and, it, and it's a very slow, mechanical, methodical uh, conveyor belt. But this game is zippy-zippy fast. Um, you know, depending on how you built this stuff, you could have robots just flying off your assembly line ASAP, or you could have them very slowly going through multiple iterations of stuff, so you can get a big payday several rounds down the road. And I love that extra level of complexity uh, and thought process that goes into design here. It's super duper satisfying. And if, if you're not smart in how you build, it can really create some very congested moments where oh, I can't get the thing where I need it to go, even with my forks, or everything's blocking the truck, or there's not enough space on the truck. I haven't invested in trucks. Um, because that's the thing. You know, most every round, if you want to, you could buy another upgrade, but at some point, you have to realize, no, let the upgrades go, and just focus more on what you're actually doing over here. Although, if you do that, what that often means is, okay, if I don't buy this upgrade, that means on your turn, you won't have to buy it, and you'll get stuff for free when you automatically recycle it. I can't let you do that. Another thing, I mean, often... As, as stuff comes around, hey, I want to buy these things not so that I can, you know, enhance my conveyor belt anymore, either, you know, destroying stuff that's already there to overwrite with, you know, new things or reprogram it or all that, but just so I can get a temporary influx because, hey, if there's something in this spot that would give me two orange robots, you know, in this last spot, if I, I, I could pay two bucks and then recycle to get the uh, eight bucks worth of rods. Or, as long as I don't buy it, when it comes over here and falls into the recycle bin, I get that stuff for free. Um, but you can see that that's going to happen on my turn, which is why you'll buy it when it costs three bucks, because, hey, you'll still net eight bucks worth of robots. But will that cause you more problems? Because then you got to put these new robots onto your already overloaded conveyor belt. Will it be able to get them from one side to the other? That's where the fun comes in, and this game is a blast. I'm really, really surprised by it. Um, and if the gameplay wasn't enough, I gotta say I'm even more impressed by the really sly and wicked sense of humor this game has, because, you know, all these jobs are about, basically, we're making murder kill bots here, but they're all disguised under the veneer of Roomba vacuums. Um, you know, they, they play that up in the rules as well. It, uh, there's a few little funny... Um, lines. Where was one? Not that it matters, but I just love this. I love this attention to detail. Right. Which one was it? This is fun, watching me look. All right. Fun fact. Ankles are the most accessible part of the human body, but the juggler vein is the most vulnerable. Why do robots want to know that? Operation... Uh, observation. Humans enter a dormant state during the night cycle. Add sunset calendar to Operation Clean file collection. I just... I... I... I they didn't have to do that. They could have played this straight. But the fact that they really went above and beyond and made something that is, uh, I mean, wickedly funny. Um, you know, all of these things are, all, all, you know, all these different jobs you can get are really cute. And, but, 
On top of that, you've got a really compelling little puzzle of your own design as you try to figure out how to make the most efficient thing you can, even if that means tearing it apart, because what it used to do, it doesn't really work very well now because I'm in a whole different state or because I'm trying to produce different stuff or whatever. And then if all that weren't enough, I love it, developers, I love it when you use your box in the game. This is normally something that is pretty much um, limited to the field of kids' games, you see this a lot where, you know, hey, yeah, use the box and make it a cool thing that the characters climb and do stuff. You never see that in more grown-up or, you know, gamer geek games. But we have a sense of fun and whimsy, too. We want to see big, cool 3D things. And the way this works in where, you know, as the stuff comes around and eventually it falls down the hole to be recycled... That's just awesome. That is really going above and beyond. Everything about this game way over delivers. I mean, it's definitely punching above its weight. Sharp, fun puzzle, great sense of humor, wonderful production. I, this thing is, is fantastic. It is Mechanica. Kind of came out of nowhere. Really was a big surprise to me just how much I enjoyed it. And it just makes me appreciate now what I think I knew subconsciously, but now I can shout loud and proud, I love conveyor belts. And Mechanica is maybe the best one I've played so far. And that is the run-through, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Have a very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.